Oh, laid back Luke hey. in our Dance FM studio live from Media Village here at Tomorrowland. Um, what do you think of this year's underwater theme? Do you like it? Oh, is that it? That was, Afro ja- <laughs> that was Afrojack what? fanboying right there outside of the studio. That's brilliant. All good. Uh, Oh, that's the theme. The theme. Yeah, I, didn't, I was like plan, plan axis, plan axis. Pl- pl- yeah, we had to Google it as well. It's okay. underwater theme. Look around the studio, laid back, well, Luke. You'll enough. see okay. that we're so, under, well, underwater. Well, thanks for clarifying that. Yeah. So I think it looks epic again in this year. The main stage as well, and um, yeah, it's incredible. They always make su- such work of all the stages. And did you see the big seahorse in the middle? No, I because I haven't been oh. at the main stage. I just came from the jacked stage. Uh, Afrojack's uh, stage uh, so no I didn't see the main, main just yet like what do you not think, in the middle what do you anyway. think about being out and about with all the punters it's pretty mental isn't it yeah yeah it's it's it, well for instance if you'd walk or if I would walk around the, the area w- yeah that's tough getting through but the, <laughs> the vibe is great though it's all love it's great cool um, what, are you, what are people going to expect from your set at Tomorrowland um well, it, that's always a very tricky question because I don't know myself. Uh, so I actually just came off stage and um, someone was asking me, oh, w- which track are you going to start with? I said, I don't know. <laughs> like, I'll know, like, when I kind of, like, walk on stage, I'll be like, oh, maybe that track. So you are really true to your name then, Laid Back Luke? Yeah. I was going to ask how Laid Back? Laid Back Luke and, and unpre-recorded Luke Wow, as well. you're basically lying down. <laughs> lying down, Luke. I am that laid back. I'm the king of limbo. <laughs> uh, All right. Go on. I'm very curious to know, like, who is uh, the, your most fellow, uh, fellow DJ you're most close to here in Tomorrowland? Yeah, I, th- I think we just saw him outside, uh, outside the window. It's uh, <laughs> yeah. my dear Afrojack. Um, but Hardwell, Hardwell is a good guy as well. We, a ton of us Dutch DJs really connect well yeah. with each other. Mm-hmm. That's good. Um, what's the most embarrassing thing you've done laid back, Luke? Talk to us. Um, most embarrassing <laughs> thing I've ever done. That's like the most difficult question to answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was on stage with Dimitri Vegas and uh, like Mike once, and this was before my fit era, and we all took our shirts off. And because uh, like Mike wanted us to like, you know, fling our shirts around on stage. And that was a little bit awkward. But other than that, it's not that I, you know, was DJing and fell through a stage or anything. No, no, of course not. It's not you. Yeah. But yeah, I can imagine if you didn't take your shirt off and swing it around, it'd be like, come on, you need to yeah. get involved. Well, that would have been probably been even more awkward. Now I do it, of course. <laughs> hey, you um, know, what I really love about you is you've got a vlog, haven't you, that helps out other fellow DJs and stuff. So tell right. us a bit about that. Yeah, so it's a weekly vlog. It's uh, become my new hobby over these last uh, three years. And I basically just share my knowledge of the over 20 years I've been a professional DJ. I just have so much info, and, and a lot of times I feel a lot of kids get, you know, the terminology wrong, or they think pre-recorded sets are a good thing, and that sort of thing, and I just want to keep it, keep it straight-edged, mm-hmm. you know, it needs to be real still, mm-hmm. after, even after 20 years. Yeah, and uh, speaking of vlogs, you also do some online kung fu courses. That's right. How's that coming along? So I have an online kung fu <laughs> course right now. It, it's basically because I've been doing kung fu for almost two decades now. I'm, I'm a kung fu teacher. Yeah. Uh, I've won gold medals in the world championships and that sort of thing. But I have no time to actually teach people. I have a, a couple of students here and there around the world. but So I was tr- just trying to figure out how to... To, to share this like anti-stress methods mm-hmm. I got mm-hmm. and, and this fit life I get from Kung Fu helps me out so, so much. And so it's online now and um, if anyone that's interested, just email me and uh, this will come directly to me, sifulucasmail at gmail.com. I like that Sifu part. I'm into it. I'm into yeah. it a lot. Uh, final question for you. What's, uh, what have you got on the horizon music-wise? Music-wise, we were we managed to nick Khalees milkshake vocals. Oh. We got the rights to that, and uh, that's going to be my new single. It's, I made it together with Ale Mora and Shermanology on the vocals, 
And uh, yeah, so uh, it's legal. We can we can bring it out. We, we cannot this is use. So exciting. We cannot use Khalees' name, although I would have loved to use it. So, but no, now that's it's my my new single now. So what you're Brilliant. saying is, laid back Luke is bringing the milk to the yard. No, the boys to the yard. <laughs> that's right. That's the lyrics, isn't it? <laughs> right. That's right. Amazing. Well, exciting stuff. Enjoy Tomorrowland. Good Thank luck you very with your much. set, and let's go play some VR. Yeah. Awesome. Let's go.